What's up everybody, it's Wednesday and that means it's time to show you what's going on at Blackout today. So to my left we have a Chevy Silverado that we're installing a Backflip Industries, I think that's what it's called, revolver, hard rolling tonneau cover. So it's a metal cover that rolls up instead of folds up and it's really secure, you can't get through it, it holds like 400 pounds on top of it. It's a very, very cool tonneau cover. We've got glass from a 1950 Plymouth. We are tinning those, they're just sitting here curing. We're gonna shave the edges on those so it looks like a factory edge. And then we have the Harley Davidson. This one's still here for paint protection film after some paint repair gets done on the front. So just waiting on that to happen. This car's cool. This is an A-spec Acura, I believe it's a TLX. And the paint on this, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but the paint on this is awesome. It's made in the same factory as the NSX, right? Same paint? Same? Okay, so it's like the same paint, I guess, as the NSX. And he said it's a numbered car, one of 326 or something. Is it on the dash somewhere? 126. Very cool. So really neat Acura. Um, never had one of the numbered ones in here before. Got a CTSV. I think this made it in last week as well. We hadn't gotten started on it yet, but now we have. Jimmy has 9H on it, and he's working on the top coat. So that should be ready to go at the end of the day today. Uh, if you can, if you compare it to last week's video, the paint has really made a big transformation. Jimmy spent a lot of time polishing the paint on this one. And of course, my favorite part, it's a manual. I love those cars. The Lusso, Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. It's finally ready to go home. We finished the Expel Stealth Wrap on it, and then it got ceramic coating, Expel Fusion Plus on top of that. You can coat on top of film. It will give you the same hydrophobic properties, the same UV protection, all that good stuff that you get with the coating plus the added benefit of the chip resistance and scratch resistance of paint protection film. Got a Jaguar XJ. This was here last week for window tint. While it was here, we noticed the car was really scratched up. The customer said, hey, can you take care of that? We said, absolutely. So we did a paint correction on that. Patrick spent a couple of days polishing the paint and it came out really, really good. And we've got an Audi A5S line. This has been here for a couple of days. It's ready to go home pretty much also after a quick cleanup. This got full front end protection. So. The entire fenders, hood, front bumper, and mirrors are covered with Expel Ultimate Plus to stop rock chips and scratches. As you can tell, we wrap edges so all of our corners are nice and neat. You really can't even tell that there's anything on here. And the film is just as glossy as the paint underneath it. We've got a Kia Soul. This is the second remote start of the day. We did a Highlander this morning, and Aaron's working on this one right now. Are you finishing this up right now? Looks like he's installing the antenna, so this one's about ready to go also. Did this get uh, range extenders? Okay, so this got two-way LCD communication, which means it's a one-mile range. You also have a little LCD screen that confirms that the car started, so no matter where you're at, even if you can't see the car, you can tell that the car is started. And over here to Dean and Terrell. Hi, guys. How's it going? Good. They're uh, cutting some window film for Sendell Motors. They're doing a commercial installation up there today. Is that Frost? Yes. Um, well, that's actually the Frost. Iron Rock Tap House, which is getting ready to open next week. Uh, but we're also doing evening view film on Sendell to uh, cut down on the glare in the showroom so customers aren't blinded when they're buying a car. Awesome. So, yeah, check out Iron Rock Tap House. We're excited for that to open up by the mall. Out front today, we've got Debbie's Challenger. I think this made it in last week as well. Uh, we're waiting on some graphics to come in for, but they should be here in the next couple of days. So, we tinted the windows. This is the wide body 392. We're also going to do a racing stripe to match uh, up with the graphic that we're going to install on the hood that she ordered. And then we're going to ceramic coat the car. So I really like the wide body version of this and hopefully this will be ready to go in the next couple of days. Inside here we've got the Audi Q5. This is here for a full interior and exterior detail. It looks like we're done with all the wet stuff on that. Getting ready to do the interior. We've got a Honda Pilot. This is uh, 2006 and we did a remote start system in that last night. It's ready for pickup. Got a RAV4, this one's here for heated seats. Those are already installed, just gotta finish mounting the switches. That will be ready to go today as well. Then we've got a Subaru Legacy. This one is getting an essentials detail, which is a full interior and exterior, but a real light version. Um, so not too crazy on the inside, good vacuum and good wipe down. This Ford Escape is also getting a remote start system installed. And this Jaguar, which is super clean, we've done paint protection film on it in the past and also ceramic coating. It's back for a one-year maintenance inspection, so we're going to clean the whole car, clay bar it if necessary, and then re-top coat it. 
It's starting to rain. Go figure, it's Pennsylvania. Um, we've got a truck here. Ross Raps is working on this. He's a friend of mine that owns a wrap company and he's doing uh, some commercial stuff on the side working with a company in Greensburg to do that. This Toyota Tacoma here was um, had a tonneau cover not installed by us, but it's back for us to take a look at it. It's leaking water, so we're gonna make sure we take care of that for them. And we've got a new Cadillac Escalade. That was here for a quick cleanup, so we washed it, vacuumed it, cleaned the windows. That's a pretty regular thing we do on that particular car. We've got a cool one here, a hearse. Uh, we installed a sound system in this a while ago, and something's draining the battery. We're not sure if it's the sound system or not, so it's here just for us to do some testing and make sure that nothing that we did is causing that to happen. All right, so there's something very exciting to show you today. Um, I grew up in the time where Fast and Furious is what got me and most of the guys in here into cars. And the most iconic car from the first Fast and Furious movie was Brian O'Connor's Eclipse. And we finally have decided to build one. We've teamed up with EWCTC, the Votech School, and uh, we are going to turn this thing into a replica car from the movie. We're going to try to hit every single detail, the same paint, the same body kit, same engine modification, suspension, interior, even the custom interior mods where they uh, mount the gauges a certain way, all that stuff, eventually, that's what's going to happen. So we're very excited for that. We picked this up last night, drove it here from Indiana. Uh, car runs great, a couple cosmetic things to do. and. We're going to be taking that over to the tech school today so they can get started on it. Also with the Eclipse, make sure you subscribe to our channel because this build is going to be documented from start to finish. Everything that the students are going to be doing, they have a, a whole media department over there. They're going to be recording and filming a lot of it. So that's going to be a really exciting thing to watch come together and also to help support the community and the local tech school. So uh, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to EWCTC, all their social media outlets, and yeah, join us for this ride.